<laughs> this is the day that the Lord has made, baby. Oh, we shall rejoice. Oh, yeah. And be glad and welcome. Yay, 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 yay. I need you to get in the chat. Let me know what city you in. The chat is the VIP. Yeah. Oh, yes, sir. man, you know me. I'm on the nature. I'm on the nature. Yeah. <laughs> I'm on the nature. I'm on the nature. Ah, back up in the building for all God's children. In yes, sir. It. Motivation Monday. I am your host, the love and life coach, Dale Lodge, and that man is the people's bishop. Come on here. I love that. I love the I love the turn. Like I love the turn. I love it. I love it. Come on. You can, I point at you. I point at your screen. I, 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 I see. I see. I see. I gotta point in the right direction. I see. I see. I see. Yes, 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 yes. I ladies it. and gentlemen, ladies and gentlemen, it's a king's birthday month. I want you to know we going in. Bishop Kevin Foreman's birthday month is this month. And yes, sir. It's on and popping. Yes, sir. Listen, I'm excited about it. I'm I'm 21. That's the story I'm going with. I got started in ministry when I was negative six. Yo. I've been a pastor. I've been a fast. I've been a fast. This is my 18th year as a senior pastor. Oh. You know what's crazy? I look younger now than I did when I started. I believe that. The Bible says he will renew your youth like an eagle, which means as you as you age, you, you actually look younger. You look better. I pray that for everybody. I pray that people look at you and be like, you look younger now than you did years ago. Ooh. Yeah, that's Bible. That's Bible. This, listen, man, we, we're entering. It's, it's, it's such a special timing right now. Mm -hmm. uh, we just got finished celebrating the new year on the Hebrew calendar. Yeah. We're in your birthday month. Yes, sir. And it's the fourth quarter of the year. The year of 2024. Yeah. The year of more. This is the final quarter. Yeah. Bishop, we, we going in tonight. This is going to be a prophetic show tonight. What is God giving you about these last three months yeah. of 2024? Because, I mean... It, it, it's been some crazy stuff, man. Oh, listen, listen. Going, in, going into the fourth quarter, going into the new year on the Hebrew calendar. Please, you have the floor. Yeah, here, here it is right here. It's it's Second Samuel 6 and 11. It says, the ark of the Lord, which means the presence of the Lord, stayed at the home of Obed-Edom from Gath for three months. And the Lord blessed Obed-Edom and his whole family. So here it is. Um, in this quarter, so you're the first quarter of a new spiritual year and the last quarter of a natural year. So it's the beginning and the end all at the same time. That's how God does. So you're going to have this synergy of things happening right there from 2 Samuel 6, 11. The Bible says that the Lord was with them. The ark represented the presence of God for three months. And this man got supernatural favor, supernatural grace, and a supernatural blessing that hit his house. Here's what's crazy about it. He was from Gath. Gath is the same city that David's first giant Goliath was from. He was from Gath too. Here's the revelation. The same place you've had your giants in the last 12 months is the same place you're going to have giant blessing, favor, victory, supernatural in these last three months. Bishop, let's go. They're coming from the same place. So if you had a giant in your finances, you about to watch me. You about to see some giant increases in your money these last three months. If you've got a giant in your relationships, you're about to see that release stop in the these phone. next three stop, months. Stop. Right now. Hey, 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 I need you it. to get in that chat right now. If that just resonated with you, I want you to lift up your hand. Give me that lift up hand emoji and say, it's my giant moment. It's my giant my, moment. Oh, I love it. My giant moment. Yeah. But, but just check it out. The same place that this giant came from. And think about it. David's first giant, because he fought more than one. He fought several. But we only most talk, mostly talk about the first one. His first giant, which put him on the map. Think about it. He's a nobody unless he defeats that giant. And that giant gave him a kingdom. I'll say it again. That giant gave him a nation. 
So when you think about this, you got to thank God for the giants that you face because that thing or oh, that thing is about to provide, provide a blessing for you that you're going to look back and say, I'm so glad that this happened in the last 12 months because in these three, God made up for it. God made up for it. Because when we're reading 2 Samuel, David is on the throne. He's on the throne of what this thing almost tried to take him out before. So wherever you were going to be taken down, you're about to literally be enthroned. You're going to be taken up. So all you got to do is look back over the last several months and say, where have I had giants? Those same areas, it's your giant moment. You have giant victory. It's right there, 2 Samuel 16, 11. If God did it for Obed-Edom, he's no respecter of persons. He will do the same thing for you. Point blank, period, bottom line. All you got to say is God is with me. God is with me. And for some of us, here's what's crazy. It's the last month of the natural, last quarter of the, of the natural. It's the first quarter of the spiritual. These two things intersecting, which means in several areas, you're about to begin again. And I need you to be okay starting back at one. But you're, watch me. But it's not like, think about it, like in my birthday month, right? Uh, um, I'll have another in 10 years. I'll have another of this same number. Here's the thing. But I'm wiser. I'm stronger. I'm better. I'm more mature. It's the same thing. Never be afraid to be back at one. You're going to begin again, but you're about to begin better. Ooh! Y'all heard it. You about to begin better. Now, Bishop, before we get up out of here, I just want you to hit them. That, that that to me, you covered the life, right? But you know, I'm the love and life coach. So let's cover that area. How does that prophetic year, let's talk about the numbers, the numbers of the Hebrew year. Yes. And I want you to associate that with those who are believing for better relationships, not, not just romantic, not just marriage, not just, you know, in that part of their relationship, but even in their friendships. Even, even in their careers, even in their yep. family, yep. how does that new Hebrew year, those numbers relate to where they will be from a relational standpoint? Well, you know what I love is that um, they're doing some construction uh, right now. And immediately as I heard the construction uh, in the background, it immediately uh, made me think of exactly that. See, relationships require assembly which means you're going to have to build this thing. So why will your relationships be better? It's because you will be better. In, in other words, uh, in, under, in order for a relationship to be better, the people in the relationship have to be better. So for those who say, I want better, I want better. Well, you first have to be better. So here it is. It's built into the year five. That's grace, favor, supernatural. Seven, just like they work in seven. That is the number of shalom. Nothing missing, nothing broken, nothing lacking all as well. Here's the question you ask yourself. What's missing in me that I need to feel? What's lacking in me that I need to feel? What's broken in me that I need to deal with? What is uh, uh, what is not well that I need to deal with? Because think about it this way. How can you attract whole if you're not whole? How can you attract good if you're not good? How can you attract better if you're not better? Before I go further, I know the Love and Life Coach got something to say about that. Woo, my God. Man, no, no. I'm, listen, you own it, baby. This is your birthday month. You let's go. Fine. Okay, go, let's go. go. That's seven. Eight is a new beginning. Where do you need to do some things new? Like for many of you, it's the same old you, just a new person. Got it? If it's the same old you, then the new person probably is just a repeat spirit in a new body. What? Because you're not new. So if you're not new, you're just going to keep recycling the same spirits in different bodies. Yeah, yeah. Right? Because when you're new, you attract new. When you're new, when you're new, you draw new. The Bible says this, above all, guard your heart for out of it flow the issues of life. That word um, uh, flow the issues of life, it's this Hebrew word tutsa. Here's what it means. Everywhere you look, there you are. Mm. So you're attracting what you are. Yeah, yeah. Right? So, hey, a new beginning in you. So you got to say, what do I need to do new? Maybe I need to change where I'm looking for these people for. Maybe I need to change how I approach these people. Like you meet them on Monday and then watch me. And then they already over your house on Tuesday. Like you're going to have to have a new approach. You can't use that same old approach. And just like this construction that's going on right now, you're going to have to construct a better you. Guess what? Because when you could think about it like a house, if you build a house and you can, you make it better, you renovate it, you make it better. What goes up? The value. What does that mean? Only a certain type of buyer can come. I'm teaching better than y'all talking, which means the buyers that could afford me down here, it's a different version of a buyer up here. I'm not talking about money. I'm talking about substance, which means I'm going to attract a totally different type of person when I've built a better me. 
That's your word. Build a better you because then you're going to naturally attract better relationships and you can be more selective because now you're in a league of your own. You can't be selective when you're a starter house and everybody gets a try. Oh, I'm teaching better than y'all talking. Wait a minute. Get up. <laughs> I'm teaching Everybody better than y'all talking. Gets a try? Everybody gets a try. That's the starter house. That's the starter um, house. Bishop, you on one tonight. And right this is the starter told, house. Right from the <laughs> It's your birthday month. Come you on. You on one tonight. Listen, man. That is incredible. Listen, it's 10-7. That's today's yep. day. What you feeling, man? What what's the what's the seed tonight? You know what? I think the seed's got to be for the new spiritual year. Five, seven, eight, five. Fifty-seven dollars, eighty-five cents. Somebody say, Bishop, I don't have that. Bishop, I don't have that. But watch me. Do you? Then, then, then do this. Then do half of that. Uh, if you don't have the fifty-seven, eighty-five, then what you can do is you can do half of that. You can do twenty-eight, ninety-three, and ninety-two and and a half. Right. So twenty-eight, ninety-three. You can do that. You gotta sow something. Here's the deal. You know what? I what gets me about Christ some Christians? What's they want everything, but they do nothing. Yeah. yeah. They want to reap, but they never sow. Mm. They want to increase, but they never release. There's no free lunches out here. Come on. Got it? If this is blessing you, you should sow for four reasons. Number one, you should always bless what blesses you. Number two, your increase comes from your release. Number three, God always gives seed to the sower, which means if he sees you're a sower, he'll always make sure you never lack seed. But if he sees that you eat your seed, he'll make sure that you never have seed. Some of y'all, you're literally working against God. Because you never sow anything. So because you never sow anything, he says, I'm not going to get you any seed. Get you seed for what? So you can eat it. So you can go buy some shoes. So you can get your hair done. So you get your nails done. All that's good stuff. But that's not what I gave it to you for. I gave it to you to release it. I gave it to you to be seed. I give seed to sowers. I keep seed from non-sowers. Wow. That's a word. You can literally be fighting against God and not know it. Come on. Got it? And fourth reason that we sow. Anytime a word speaks life into us, we should sow into that. That's 1 Samuel chapter 9. So that's the seed. 5785 for the new spiritual year that we are in. Um, you already know these next three months are going to be amazing. And like I said, if you can't do it, you just cut that thing in half uh, and you sow it that way. 2893. But just like this construction going on in the background, that's what's happening. But the construction is on our house. It isn't on a car. It's on you. Come on. Man. You are building the best version of you yet and you're about to attract a whole different echelon of person because spirit recognize spirit if it it, it, it it you can you can gloss it up and look real good and all that but you can't watch me but you can't fool the spirit around yeah yeah and for some of you when you build a better you you're literally going to begin to attract a whole different type of person into your life romantically friendship it doesn't matter that's it right there there it is y'all baby get that seed in the ground and listen if you are in the Nashville area or if you plan on traveling, November 16th, all roads lead to Nashville for the Soul Ties Conference, the final one of 2024. Guess what we celebrating, Bishop? The 100th city. Amazing. That is amazing. 100 cities, US-wide. As of this month, we're starting our international thrust. I'm telling you, this movement is going on no matter what. And Powerful. listen, listen, listen. I'm telling you, if you are anywhere, anywhere in the area, you got to be in the place. Get your tickets now at the 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 address is in the description. Go there, click Nashville, and get your ticket. I need your face in the place. I'm gonna be there. Bishop's gonna be there. We got an array of hosts. Oh, man, of guests that are going to bless your life for the Soul Times Conference. And it's going to be a celebration. 100 cities. That's amazing. Congratulations. Believe. Praise God for that. That's a lot. That's a lot of travel, a lot of highways, byways, a lot of airplanes, a lot of car rides. That's a lot. Oh, it's been, it's been I, I salute all, you. Man, it's, I salute you. Man, listen, thank you, brother. Thank you so much, man. And it has been an absolute honor to serve God's people. And look, and, and yeah. we still ain't finished, man. Look, no. it, it's the decade of the double, so I'm going for another round. It's Come more cities here. in the country, baby. I Come say, on. Let's, run, let's run it back. We're going to do another hundred. Run it up. I love it. I love it. <laughs> We're going to do amazing. another hundred. And listen, man, it's all month we celebrating bitch's birthday. I'm, I just want to let them know. So that means next week, we st I'm still going to be celebrating the key. And let I appreciate us, you. And look, and look, and look, 
Uh, let everybody know what. Uh, uh, we'll wait till next week. We'll wait. Okay. Yeah. Let's do it. Right. Next week, it'll be, cause then it, it's, it'll be closer to your birthday. For those who want to know, who, who are wondering, October 18th is the kid's birthday. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. I, October 18th. So we are literally 11 days away. It's crazy. The celebration. The celebration. You know what's crazy too? This month is also the anniversary of Bishop Kevin Foreman Day in Denver and Aurora. Um, yes. The mayors of those cities gave us our own day, which is amazing. Um, and in November 4th celebrates 18 years as a bishop. May celebrated 18 years as a senior pastor. Wow. This is my 27th year in ministry, not as a pastor, but since I got started in ministry uh, as an adolescent, I wasn't even a teenager. Um, and I was, before I was a teenager, I was on staff at a church playing drums. Isn't that crazy? But God has been good. And I'm excited about the journey. I'm excited about the next 18, the next 27, the next, keep keep it going. Like you said, double it up, make it happen. Man, we're going to double go. up. And like you said, construction. Yeah. It's, 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 and let's do it again. It's a double up. It's yep. a double up. We're in the decade of the double. We're in our 2020s. Listen, I, I believe everything in this decade is on the double. Yeah, yeah. Because we'll never see it again. Never. In our, in our lifetime, we ain't gonna, we're not going to live long enough to see 30 turns. Well, I'm gonna still pray if I can. I, I, I know. I, I'm just gonna ask. You, you can't, you can't stop a man from asking. I'm gonna. Ask you, you know what? I, I, I sure cannot stop a man from asking. But I will. But I will say this: <laughs> the kingdom has had a valuable jewel in you, Bishop. And, and I'm, and I'm saying it publicly. I say it all the time. I give you your flowers all the time privately. But I want to say it publicly, man. You are such a blessing to the kingdom, man. You have blessed millions of people and we still got millions more because the soul ties movement is getting ready to do its international and global thrust so listen it's amazing to, vote to you king the people's bishop aka Batman. <laughs> yes sir love you i appreciate you 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 are always an encourager one of the things you do amazingly well Man, you thank are an encourager and uh, and you are a builder. So I appreciate you. I'm excited about the celebration. And hey, y'all, listen, this is this is a great month, great time to be alive. We hit the jackpot um, because we are alive for such a time as this. So I'm excited about it. Me too, baby. Well, listen, until next week, y'all, stay in faith, yeah. stay focused, and we'll see you right back here on another edition of Motivation Monday. We out. There you go. Love. It.